Yo guys, today I'm going to review my 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Before I show you all the information about the car, let's tie this disgusting desk. It's full of papers and socks and just sweets. It's just crap. So let's get rid of it. Oh, that was strange. All of a sudden it's just got really tired there. Well, I guess we can review this car now. I reviewed this car already, which will be uploaded next week. So, never mind that one from now. And yes, the doors do open and they do have windows. We went to the Chevy. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock nearly. I've got to get to bed at 9. Alright, so I'm going to tell you all the things about this 1957 Chevy Bel Air taxi from Deadpool. So, we did come with the action figure and then. Um, I think it's in the pocket of my coat right here. Nope, not in that one. And it's made with metal, I've got it. This is it. And if you don't believe me, go and search it up on um, um, on the website, Google. If you want to know how much and where I got this car from, go comment down below and like this video. Comment where did you get it from. I'll um, answer that question from you guys. And you can go and buy one yourself. It's it's over thirty pounds and um more than ten pounds and under thirty pounds. So that I'm just giving you a, <laughs> I'm just giving you a clue. So quite a lot of money because it's a, it's a model. So I'm gonna go around the car now. The doors can open. The boot can open. The engine bonnet can open. Right, we're gonna open the doors for now because I'm gonna get the Lego guy out because you have no business in here, Bugatti Lego guy. Right, this is inside the car. It has a diamond on the airbag where the airbags are supposed to be. Um, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to get some leather and leather up the seats with a nice comfort, like, soft floor, which there will be a video of that. And I'm thinking that I might um, paint it in, a, like, a greeny-blue greeny blue type colour because, you know, there's a chip there on the on the boot hood, so, and I don't like that, so I want to get rid of it by painting it. I was planning on painting it anyway because I don't like the taxi. Well, I do, but, you know, it gets kind of annoying. I don't like the... Um, the Deadpool that says Deadpool on it, so I don't know. Um, there's a speedometer there, and there's an indicator for where you indicate. But when you move the indicator, it moves the steering wheel, so it's all attached together. That's a bit wobbly. Built it a few days ago. Open this door. Yeah, that's the little sat nav. I don't know if that pops up or not. It's a bit dusty in the camera, you know. There's a hard floor. You know, radio station audio station right now we're going to move to the um bonnet so it just opens up easy like that so we're going to open that up now and it does not hold up on its own so we'll have to hold it up with our fingers up let's we'll hold it up with our fingers this is the engine the little boot space there to put your stuff in put my finger in between there hey oh that looks so nice on the camera literally guys um it looks this engine looks shinier in person if you guys get one if you comment and you get one then it will look so shiny i put some black sharpie there so i'm gonna rub that with soap i also made a little plastic funnel and put water down it into the engine that's how it made shine i'm gonna put some screen wash down there too make it seem like a real car and this plastic thing comes off too off the um off the bottom of the bonnet so I'm just gonna pop that back on right and it's on well that's lamb we're gonna move on to the boot yeah it says the Chevy shine Chevy sign with the Chevy sign on the front as well I but right okay listen I used to be obsessed with these cars even in school I used to be obsessed with these cars about two years ago. I think they used to look so cute on the front. The cutest thing is the grill, kind of like, like an ice shape with a line in the middle. And I love the badge. I just love the badge. This is how the real badge is supposed to be. Supposed to be. The blue Chevy um, uh, logo. They used to have blue Chevy logos back in 2019-57. Now they have the orange logo for Camaros and, um, you know, the newer Camaros and the older ones they have different ones as you can see there's red up there red up there camaro sign in the middle um shovel chevrolet sign in the middle so red's down there in the bottom um right corner top corner left corner and on the other side it's 
it's different. It's on the t all the way around. Top corner right, bottom corner left. Top corner left, bottom at corner right. So it's different. Anyway, let's let's move on to the um uh the bonnet. I mean the boot now. So I'm gonna open that. There you go. Leather there, black leather. There's a little um, paper here that I attach with blue tack, so I can easily pull um, up the leather. And all the leather is a bunch of diamonds, and it's not fake. I bought these diamonds last year for um, sixty-two pounds, because I get four hundred pounds for my birthday every year. So, um, well, I have more than that, but you don't need to know anyway. Anyway, um, these diamonds are quite a lot of money from Argos. Um, if you go and go and buy some, sixty-three ninety-nine, um, and I've just had them sat in my drawers. I forgot about them, and I found them last week. So I thought, hmm, I'm gonna put them in my car. Oh, look nice. So these diamonds are really hard, and they can crack. I cracked a couple of other ones because they are heavy and they are glass. So um, you gotta be careful with them. And I also have this um, uh, diamond strip, which is nice too. So I'll keep that in the trunk. A bunch of diamonds underneath. I'm gonna, I might get rid because it look it looks a bit silly. That's really heavy for a little one as well. Looks a bit tacky, you know. You don't need diamonds in a 1957 taxi. Way older than me. Not in not this car, but in real life they are. All of these models are older than me. Older than my mum. Older than my nana. Older old than all my family. 1957. I am um, about six years ago when I was about four. When I was about no, about six years ago when I was about five, I am um, uh, I am um, seen one of these in white, um, 1954 Chevy Bel Air. Um, the guy said, "Do you want to sit in it?" And I sat in it. And the steamer wheel were awesome, the radio were awesome, everything was just in good shape. And he said he bought it from brand new. It was a um it was an eighty eight year old man, so it will be an old man now, but it will be it was old then. Eighty eight year old man and he had this car from brand new. Literally brand new. He was a teenager when he got this car. He said he was young when he got the car. Got it from the Chevy dealership in South America. And then he brought it over here. It was just awesome. I popped the hood, I looked in the boot, and everything was in good shape. And it smells so good in old fashioned cars. I look, most of these, if you see one of these cars on the road, old person will be driving it. Promise you. Because no young ass guy is going to be driving some old ass car like this. It might be old, but it looks so nice. And um, maybe it looks cute at the front, but at the back, it looks like a badass. Seriously. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these um these lumps here. I'm joking. This little lump here actually. Don't know, I just noticed that just now. Let's see if that's right on the other side. Yep, still wrong. Alright. I'm gonna have to end the video now because I've gotta um go and take that in the bathroom and clean it. Cause it has sand stuck under here from last year, so I have to clean that because it's dirty, so yeah. Just look at this. There's a review mirror right there, up there. You can see it, but I've just had to point just in case. It wiggles about a little bit, which is good. It's like it, it just. I just stare at this car all day thinking, I'm going to keep this car till I get old. Literally, like, this car had for about a few months. This one, not even a week. This one, not even four months, about three months. And this one, not even a week, so. Oh, not supposed to show you yet. Anyway, oh yeah, it does have diamond floor. I like to buy diamonds from shops and then place it in my car so it looks like a, you know, like an expensive car. Even though these cars are about five point six million pounds in real life. I want, I'm gonna go on um, Google now and check how much these are uh, to buy second hand because you can't obviously buy it brand new, obviously. So I'm gonna go and check. Oh, it's only like seven hundred pounds, or maybe about about fifteen thousand, because these cars are worth a lot. If it's in good shape and everything works, it should be quite expensive, because it's an old-fashioned car. So, um, let I'm gonna go and check, and I'll um 
say how much it were down in the comments below. And also, remember, comment down below, ask me where I got these from. If you don't want it, don't comment. It's okay, I'm not bothered, but, you know, if you want one, I'll tell you where I got it from. And if you already know, then don't ask. <laughs> anyway, you can get these from different um, places. Like, you can get it from Manchester, you can get it from Cleethorpe, you can get it from... Um, I got it in Sheffield, and I'll tell you where I got it from in Sheffield. Um... Yeah, I got it from a good shop. They sell lots of toy cars. It's like a car shop. But I'll tell you what it's what it's called and I'm it's pretty easy. So you gotta comment down below what it is. And um, this Lego guy is about to get kidnapped. Oh great, it doesn't even fit in. Oh it does if you force it down, but yeah, it still has a little gap at the bottom. I'll get you out because I don't want to damage the boot. Oh, great. Now I've damaged it. Oh, no. It's just the diamonds. Yeah. You hear that good slam? That means it's shut properly. Right. Right, you're about to get kidnapped by the Pagani. <sighs> you're a Deadpool. You get in there, too. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm right here with my new foam that I bought. Oof, I can't even wave properly with my left hand. Oh, yeah. Here we go. What time is it now? Yeah, five past eight. Hmm. Anyway, gotta get in the bath, it's running. See you later. <laughs> Damn!